you get about 700 show cars in here. You, you average eight to 10,000 people. Absolutely free to public. Come have a good time. Yep. Everybody's welcome, right? Yes. The Random Rod Car Club charges the registered car mm -hmm. a small fee to register their car. But if you want to come see them, they oh, um, there's nothing come. to the spectator. Right. And then with the help of the car show people, I mean, mm -hmm. it's all it's all free. <coughs> And of course, our department, local fire department, we have two fire departments gets involved here, mm -hmm. but they do all the parking of all the spectator cars across the road. Mm -hmm. and, and they do the food too, and right? And they do the food. Yeah. Where'd that Ford Mercury sign come from? The old Ford Mercury sign came from the local dealer here, Testament Motor Company. Oh, they, okay. They donated it uh, to us when they got the big new oval, you know, mm -hmm. all the ovals. Mm -hmm. They had to replace all these. And you you, re you built a showroom here? Built the showroom from scratch. This is the entrance to me Memory Lane here? Yes, this is the mm -hmm. entrance as you come down. First stop is the Ford, Ford dealership. dealership. Yeah. And that car, what kind of car is that? 57 Ford convertible. You can sit here and it looks like a real cone, I mean. Yeah. Did anybody ever run into it? <laughs> no. Got the railroad station here, and this is the this is the old caboose that burned down that used to set out in front of the depot in Rogersville. In Rogersville. You got the blacksmith shop blacksmith here. Blacksmith shop. Actually, my grandpa. I should have put Jimmy Wall on his blacksmith shop. That was mm -hmm. my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And he truly had a blacksmith shop in his day. Yeah. We're standing in front of the uh, the country store, and this is kind of how Memory Lane got started, isn't it? Actually, the store is the first thing that uh, we actually did here mm -hmm. back in 1998. If you want to step in? Yeah, let's uh, go in. Have any fresh bones? No orange, no orange, no blue pie. Okay, well. We it's uh, an old gentleman over in Blackwater, Virginia, Rob, Rob Nitch Grocery. He'd had a stroke, and of course, some of the people said that he was maybe wanting, the son was wanting to sell some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So actually, we took and uh, Went over to buy a coffee grinder and ended up buying about two truck loads. And uh, so you got the you got that coffee grinder and that was that's what's kind of the seed. Well, <laughs> when we got over there to get the coffee grinder, he said, "Well, you know, the the guy said, do you not want to buy anything else?" And I ended up buying two flatbed loads, and we were going to house it in this little railroad caboose thing. And mm -hmm. the more I looked at it, I thought, you know. We need a real building, so I took a Coca-Cola poster and pretty, ba you know, basically copied it. Mm -hmm. I balled it. Yeah, the only thing different, I think, uh, I got a Dr. Pepper instead of a Coca-Cola on the top. <laughs> now this is the this is the area where uh, uh, the law might be bent a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We were standing on the porch one day with a good law official friend. Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't go into that. <laughs> but anyway, I took something about. Uh, would like to have a authentic working moonshine steel, mm -hmm. and of course he hit me out with that. Mm -hmm. Not only did he do that, we need to mow out here, but not only did we do that, but he went before a judge and had him write me a court order to make it legal. Is this a I, mo moonshine hauling vehicle right this here? This is a Robert Mitchum, no. <laughs> you know, he had yeah. a 57 Ford. Thunder Road. Thunder Road, so I figured we'd donate this old 57 Ford here. Used to have some jugs in the back at the yeah. show. Yeah. Which is pretty bad shape sitting in here today. There ain't no bullet holes in it, is there? Nah, no, but I might put some in it today. <laughs> That's the uh, Eldridge Motor Court. Yes, yes. Okay. So and we got to go in one of that one on the end. Okay. Uh, hey, this is redneck heaven right here. <laughs> I was trying to find some old beer cans set on the porch. <laughs> you know? But anyway, we've got to go in and see this. You've got it uh, stocked with authentic 50s type furniture? Yes, pretty much. Uh, after World War II, there was a shortage of homes. Uh, you know, all the soldiers coming back and mm -hmm. baby boomer and, you know, everybody was proud to be home. Mm -hmm. And it was not enough housing. So somebody, I don't know the history, I can't tell you the name, they come up with these prefab. This was probably some of the first prefabbed houses. Mm -hmm. They ended up making like 2,300 of them, and I guess they went broke. This is the family that lived in this house in Rogersville. The Simpsons. Right. They purchased it brand new, and I see anyway, the Heritage Association kind of had something in mind, wanted this thing re-erected somewhere. Right. Instead of just demolishing it and hauling it to the scrap pile. Mm -hmm. And I first looked at it and I said, no, I don't want that ugly house. And then, <laughs> after thinking about it, I think my wife Kathy said, we are getting the house. Fortunately, there's a lady in Knoxville that had enjoyed going to the movies so much when she was a little girl when they was having this auction, she bought the old marquee. And 
rather than let it totally run, she contacted me or somebody made contact with her, and there again, uh -huh. here's history again. Now this is kind of the, the end of the road here. You've got a couple of businesses set up. So you've got the uh, bo body shop here. Yes. And this it's like he's getting ready to do some welding there. Yes. This is one of my favorite places right here. Really? Harry's Radio and TV Repair. Yeah. But you've got a bunch of old-timey radios, TVs. It smells electronic in here, don't it? Yeah, it sure does. Town Hall. City Hall. Yeah, and unfortunately, I've got a big clock in there. I'm getting ready to hit right in the middle of the floor. Is this where the sheriff's office is, too? Yes. She's sleeping one on. Looking out the window. Uh -huh. Looking back at you. <laughs> this guy's kind of mad here. Do get out for a long, about 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is kind of the showcase of the whole memory lane right here, isn't it? Uh, maybe. Well, I used to have breakfast in that diner when right. I was in the Army. Uh -huh. and, uh, but anyway, it's this, you know, it's... Now, how do you get a how do you get a full sized diner from Marion, Virginia, to Rogersville, Tennessee? Had a house mover. Really? To move it on. To see this this diner never has had wheels like a trailer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an authentic, true diner. Mm -hmm. And he had to go up and put wheels like he would move a house on. You oh. know, a frame. You know, he did the big frame work under it and mm -hmm. put the wheels. Now, what do you guys do with with the diner on on uh, when you guys open it up for Memorial Day? Uh, we just allow people to come in and eat. The fire department serves food mm -hmm. during the show, so we may allow them to come in here and eat. You know, and you've got air conditioning in here, somebody oh, yeah. come in and cool off and, yeah. and have a meal? Yeah. yeah. But you're not going to be uh, cooking in here, though? No. 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 My lovely little wife. Okay. The, the inspiration uh, for m m uh, Memory Lane? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, she's probably worse than I am. Uh, Let's go get it. Let's go get that. <laughs> but anyway, she she does a lot of work here. Well, what are you doing today? Are you uh, kind of preparing? Weed eating, uh, cleaning all the buildings, uh -huh. putting out flowers. Pretty you, much doing it all. Ti the time is coming near, ain't it? Yeah. What do you got? About two and a half weeks or something like yeah, that. Two weeks in one day. Two weeks. Tell, remind me how you guys came across this. This is the only one in Tennessee, and the only I think how many was it? Like eight in the United States. Mm -hmm. There's six or eight left now. Uh -huh. um, it was at a station, a gas station, whatever, in Bean Station, and mm -hmm. the guy over in, the, well, I guess Bulls Gap Edge of Rogersville bought it, and we looked at it all of our life. And we <laughs> said, oh man, I'd love to have that before we even had the village. So uh -huh. his, his son talked him into letting us buy it. Well, now this has got the doors and the windows out of the house I was born in. I was born behind this door right here. Huh. We had a baptizing in the creek. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. What's the story behind the church now, y'all? What made you decide to uh, build this? Well, actually, you know, every village needs a church. We got radio, TV, repair, jailhouse, store, mm -hmm. dealership. You need a church. Why? Why the 1950s? Why is that era so special to you? I'm not really sure. I guess I guess I was like eight or nine, ten years old when this was happening, and I was watching my brothers and sisters having an enjoyable time in life. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I was too small to be doing it, and I mm -hmm. wanted to do it real bad. So I guess it just, you know, I just think it was a great time. I know they had a great. Time. I think the fifties is it really is a great era in life. You know, you've kind of recreated it here. In your backyard. Yep. <laughs> However, I grew up in the 60s. I yeah. mean, the 50s and the 60s, I think, were great times. Mm -hmm. They were great times. And even on up through the 70s to some degree, but it's, it's, I think the most special time was the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say to the public out there if you haven't been here? What, what can you expect? Hey, you're missing it. You need to be here. <laughs> I mean, it, it's fun. It really is. If you hear anything about the 50s and the 60s, mm -hmm. it's happening here. You'll find it more fun here than you will anywhere, I think, mm -hmm. if you're involved in the 50s and 60s. It, you, uh, it's just, this is a total throwback nostalgia trip. It, it, it brings you back in time.